Hello, Demis speaking. Hello, Demis. This is Adam Smith from the website of the Nobel Prize. Great. Great to hear from you. (laughs) Many, many congratulations. Thank you so much. You have had so many achievements and accolades and you're so young, but what does this prize mean to you? Well, I mean, it's unbelievably special and, and, you know, it's actually really surreal, to be honest. It hasn't really sunk in, but... uh... Yeah, and it's it's an incredible honour. You know, it's 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 the it's the big one, really. <laughs> <laughs> what were your first thoughts on hearing that you'd been awarded the prize? I couldn't really think at all, to be honest. I, I, I my mind went blank. It was just so um, incredible. So uh, uh, it's just uh, an unbelievable experience. I imagine a party is about to break out at Google DeepMind. <laughs> Um, I guess so. Yeah, I haven't really even thought about that, I suppose. But uh, I had a whole day of normal work ahead of me. But I guess all those plans will have to change now. I'm afraid so. But um, (laughs) or rather, I'm pleased to say so. But um, (laughs) AlphaFold, AlphaFold 2, now AlphaFold 3, ushers in a whole new world in science. How do you see the relationship between these tools and the individual scientist? Well, the reason I've worked on AI much my whole life is that um, you know I'm passionate about science and finding out knowledge and I've always thought if we could build AI in the right way um, it could be the ultimate tool to help scientists you know help us explore the universe around us um, and I you know I, I hope AlphaFold is a, is a first uh, uh, example of that. Mm. But in terms of how the where this leaves the individual if you like because mm. the power is so extraordinary and just mind-blowing but there are still individual scientists asking individual questions. So what's the interplay like? Well, I think that um, at least for the next foreseeable future, I feel like um, this allows individual scientists to do so much more because, um, you know, these systems, they're they're, they're tools. They're very good for analysing data and finding patterns and and structure in data. But, you know, they can't um, figure out what the right question is to ask or the right hypothesis, or the right conjecture. So all of that's got to come from the human scientist. And, um, you know, I think uh, the, the best scientists paired with these kinds of tools will, will be able to do, you know, incredible things, um, perhaps even in smaller teams than they used to be able to, because um, they can rely on the tools to do a lot of the legwork. Mm. <laughs> Just tell me what it's like, what the environment of a Google DeepMind is like. Well, we tried to, you know, I've just, we, we, we tried to design it from the very beginning as, um, uh, 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 you know, sort of the perfect environment, really, to do cutting edge um, research work um, and bring together world experts in many different disciplines, obviously machine learning and AI, of course, but also engineering, but also physics, um, biology, and even things like philosophy. So kind of bring that all together in, into an incredible melting pot and um, provide them with the resources, compute resources and other things. And and um, great things will come out of that. And, you know, we've seen that in the past with with places like Bell Labs. And we was try- I was sort of inspired by the, the, the stories of, of, of the golden eras of those kinds of places. And um, I wanted to try and, you know, create something like that myself. Mm, how beautiful. Recreating Bell Labs in King's Cross. Lovely idea. Yes, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> and l- last question. I mean... Does it matter at all that this is held privately, that, you know, this is Google DeepMind, this isn't a a university? Does that make a difference? I don't think so. I I feel like you can do great science um, anywhere as long as you're approaching it in the right way and sort of doing fundamental uh, research. Um, You know, a lot of these new sciences and new areas and new fields of study and discovery require a lot of resources, you know, in our case, a lot of computers, and, um, you know, that costs a lot of money. And so uh, why not tap into, you know, private sector in order to, to fund those kinds of things, um, as long as you're true to the scientific method and, and approaching it with, you know, real scientific rigor and going after the big questions, which, you know, I feel we do at, at Google DeepMind. Mm. Thank you very much indeed. Right. I shall leave you to get on with enjoying what <laughs> should turn out to be quite an exciting day. <laughs> Thank you very much. Uh, thanks, for, thanks, for, thanks for taking the time. Okay. Thank you, Dennis. You just heard a special episode of Nobel Prize Conversations. If you enjoyed this moment, you won't want to miss a single episode of our podcast. Be sure to subscribe. We're available on Amazon Music, 
Apple Podcasts, Spotify, and many, many more popular platforms. Thank you.